Welcome to Reaping Mods, guys. Today I'm showcasing Delta, Gears of War armor and weapons, with links for the mod down below, along with links for the rest of my mods in my load order that you will see at the end of the video. So if you guys end up finding this video useful, then like and subscribe for more mod showcases like this one. Everything in this mod is craftable over at the chemistry station, so let's start with the two undersuits available to us, the standard and vest variant each with leg armors pre-attached. To complete the gears armor set, we will be adding on the torso and arms with two different helmets to choose from. There are standalone leg armors in case you prefer to wear an alternative undersuit such as the military fatigues. Instead of the gears helmets, you can equip Dizzy's hat or the cowboy hat and you can also put on a head bandana that looks similar to the one Marcus wore. The armor pieces should have all the standard upgrades and the undersuits support ballistic weave. As for the females, there are Kate's clothes and her hat with and without the hair from Gears of War 5. The female armors are based on the CBBE body type, which I lack, but here is what the female versions of the armor look like for me. You can also wear Kate's clothes here in place of the two undersuits that we looked at earlier. Just be sure to equip the leg armors to complete the look. Moving on to the weapons now, let's start with the Lancer Assault Rifle. Be wary of its size in first person though, as the mod page does point out that it is necessary for it to look the right way. It does come with a range of mods, however, including both the chainsaw and retro bayonets. Each of these upgrades will require some materials and the right perks. Next up is the Nasher shotgun. With upgrades for its receiver and sights, costing no materials and requiring no perks to craft. The long shot sniper rifle sports upgradable sights muzzle attachments, and receivers, none of which will require any materials or perks. Now last, but certainly not least here, is the Boltic Revolver, with an upgradable receiver, free of material charge of course, now let's take a look at the Gears Power Armor. Make sure that you craft and equip the Gears Ring from the Chemistry Station in order for the changes to occur. With the ring on, hop into a Power Armor frame and it will turn into the Gears version, looking similar to the Gears Armor we can equip outside the suit. However, when I hopped into a Power Armor, with a full set of armor already attached, like the T60, I saw some visual glitches and clipping here. The mod page, however, will tell us to open the workshop menu and navigate to the special tab. Searching for the gears power frame, building this will ensure that the power armor appears as it should. Alright guys, that wraps up this showcase here of Delta, Gears of War, Armor, and Weapons. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you found this showcase helpful and you want to see some more of them. Links for the mod will be down below, along with links for all the mods in my load order at the end of the video. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below, and I hope to see you guys next time on Reaping Mods.